two of trying on my old crochet crop tops. This is cute. I had the right idea, but um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna start making these for sure. I don't know why I ever stopped. This is just kind of like a regular crop top with little bumpy edges on it. I think this is the first time that I've ever done the, the cross back. This is rolling down a little bit, but. Oh, better than that. This is cute. This is, this is cute. I don't know what to say. This is the first ever river top that I made. I think that's enough for today. Um, I still have a lot more if you guys want a part three, but yeah, bye. So about two weeks ago, my friend showed me this crochet bee on TikTok, so I decided to make one for myself. In the original pattern by Hooked by Robin, she only made two rows for each stripe, but I decided to make three rows instead. After I was finished with all the stripes, I realized it probably wasn't a good idea to increase the amount of rows because my crochet bee turned out to be super, super big. The B was already 16 inches and I wasn't even finished with this and that's gonna take a lot of polyfill. So that's just me stuffing the body and sewing the butt closed. I also went ahead and sewed the wings. This is how much stuffing it took by the way. I really loved how it turned out. It's super adorable, super cute, super cuddly, plush. It's amazing and yeah. It's coming up on my anniversary of two years since I had a stalker. So one of the last times I actually ever talked to my stalker was when um, I randomly had gotten a phone number texted, like a phone number texted me one day. And mind you, at this point in time, it's been months since I talked to the guy. And tell me why the text message was like telling me I was a whore, I was an awful person, I'm some ghetto hood rat trash bitch. And then I asked the phone number, I was like, who is this? And they're like, it's blah blah blah's friend. I'm here to defend him. I told that bitch, I was like, bro, if you are so in love with him, why don't you go suck his own dick? And I was like, first of all, you don't even know what the fuck is going on. Did he tell you he's stalking me? And then I actually blocked the number. I didn't say too much. I blocked the number and then I all of a sudden got a phone call and it was ringing and ringing and ringing. And then I finally answered. And I thought it was like one of my friends, but no.
want it, I made it. I want it, I made it. I want it, I made it. I want it, I made it. I'm the furthest thing from depressed. I mean, look at what I've accomplished. Do you see him? Do you think a depressed person could make this? I was literally like about to buy a new yarn to start a new project and I realized I have so many things that I need to like fix. Like I have such a bad habit of like start finishing something like barely and then like I don't finish it. Like this this shirt was done and like look how cute she is. And then like I didn't like where the sh where the where the straps were placed like when it sat so I was like okay I'll just move them a little bit and it'll be easy fix and we'll be done and I finished this like a month ago and I started undoing it like a month ago and never finished it and the sweater I just need to sew this like it's literally the easiest part I did so much and I just need to sew that together so there's no strings hanging out of it and like why why haven't I done that and then this there's a little bit more to do to this but like I feel like honestly like my just like she's kind of cute like that right like. No, I really, I need to do the cuffs things and like sew, and like I haven't finished it. I just zoomed so hard to finish this and you know, I'm gonna I'm do it. I'm gonna do it this when everything's done.